Hello everyone and welcome to yet another episode of Great Games. Today I thought I'd do a little short pickup video because I am poor because of the Nintendo Switch. So I thought I'd detail a few things that I bought. It won't be as long as the last video, but I think I got some pretty cool stuff. The majority of it at the end is going to be Wii U games because I'm trying to collect more Wii U games before they get harder and harder to find and not in stores anymore. So first things first, I have my beautiful... Nintendo Switch. I am very poor because of her. So I got the uh, Neon Joy-Con ones, which is super sweet. Um, of course you need some games, so I did get... I have four games for the Nintendo Switch. Uh, of course, you have to have Zelda. So, And I got the Zelda Special Edition one, which is super awesome. The box is very, very soft. Kind of has like a nice kind of matte finish to it. Um, the back is really cool too, and it comes with a lot of sweet things in here. Comes with, of course, the game. Of course, it's really nice. Comes with this really cool coin. Don't really know what it does, but it's a coin, and people like coins. Uh, comes with this cool map that apparently tells the whole story of um, the Breath of the Wild. I would take it out, but it's a pain in the butt to get back in here. But it real, it feels really cool. It's like a kind of clothy paper. If that makes sense. Uh, it also comes with this really cool um, switch carrying case and that I've been using a lot lately. It's really nice. I, it also came with a soundtrack that I'm listening to in the car because I like to have adventures as I drive. So it's pretty cool. It's pretty cool. It's pretty cool. A few accessories that I got for the Switch. I have this charging grip, which honestly I've never used. So I think it's kind of a waste of money. So save your $30 um, just because I haven't used it because I got the Pro Controller and I've been primarily playing most of my Zelda on this and it has like 40 hour battery life. You know, if you need to charge the Joy-Cons, just dock them. When they're docked, they charge, so it's fine. So. Uh, I've never actually used the charging grip yet. Uh, I did get some Amiibos recently. Most of them are the Breath of the Wild Amiibos, but I also have some of the Anniversary Zelda ones too. For the Anniversary Zelda ones, I have 8-Bit Link from the original Legend of Zelda, which is super sweet. The Ocarina of Time Link, my personal favorite version of Link, which is super awesome. The Breath of the Wild ones, I got Bow and Arrow Link, which is super sweet. I have Rider Link, so he's on a little horsey. He's on a little horse. I got the Bug Goblin, which is super cool. The detail in these are fantastic. Like you can see his butt crack because he's like wearing some kind of thong butt flap thing. It's gross. It's pretty cool. Um, I also got the Guardian, which is super awesome as well. He's huge. Huge. I'm waiting on Princess Zelda Breath of the Wild at Target because I have, to, I have an exchange to make. So I'm going to get that one too because it's awesome. A few more Amiibos that I got. I got Lucas from GameStop for $7, so I'm like, well, why not, whatever. I got Falco from Best Buy for $5 too, and I love Falco because I'm a huge Star Fox fan, so I had to get Falco too. I got two Dragon Ball Z games, or Dragon Ball games. I have Dragon Ball Z Extreme Ten for the 3DS. It's like a fighting game with assist characters, I guess. The, sprite in, the sprites in this look really cool, so that's why I got it, because the sprites look awesome. I also have Dragon Ball Origins 2 for the DS. It's a really cool game. I, I did play this once before and I just don't remember it really well. Um, and I don't have the first one either, so I really want to get the first one too because I kind of want to get all the Dragon Ball and Dragon Ball Z games. Uh, I have a couple PlayStation games. Well, one PlayStation 1 game. I have Rogue Trip. Um, I heard it was really good at, le at least. I never played it yet. That was a lie. I don't know if it's super cool. It kind of looks like a vehicle combat game. I also got Jaws Unleashed for the PlayStation 2 because I heard it was terrible and I wanted to have it. So there you go. A couple GameCube games. I got Godzilla Destroy All Monsters Melee, which I've had this game as a kid, and I don't know why I returned to it, because it's awesome. You fight as giant monsters in, in cities, and you destroy the cities as you're fighting. Super awesome. And now I can play against four players, against three other people, because I have four GameCube controllers, so I'm really excited to break this one out at a party. No one that I know likes to play video games at parties, but whatever. Um, I also got Sonic Gems Collection, uh, which I've actually had this before, but I didn't have the case or the manual, and the manual is really cool looking, and so is the case. So yeah, this includes Sonic CD, Sonic the Fighters, and Sonic R, which are kind of really terrible. They're kind of really bad. But it also has uh, six Game Gear games, which I've never actually played most of the Game Gear Sonic games. I have some of them, I just, it's hard to play on a Game Gear, you know, it's just weird. So, I'm gonna, I think I'm gonna just start playing them like that. I also have some N64 games to add to my collection. I have Robotron 64, 
which is, I guess, a variation on the um, Robotron game from the arcades back in the day. There's Destruction Derby 64, which I heard was kind of fun. There's Nuclear Strike 64, which I think this version, there's another version that came out on the PlayStation 1, so that's cool. Uh, and of course, Jeopardy. Little Alex Trebek with the mustache on the cover. I miss his mustache. Grow it back, Alex. Grow it back. And I have one Wii game. Conduit 2. I have Conduit 1, so I'm like, well, I'll get Conduit 2. That's the story about that. And now the bread and butter to my uh, pickup video today. Got like a stack of Wii U games, which are pretty cool. I wanted to collect them before they get harder and harder to find. First one I got is Rodeo, Rodea, the Sky Soldier. Don't really know much about it, except that it has the Wii version of the game in here too, which I actually heard was the better version of the game. So that's interesting. Um, but yeah, it has the Wii U version and the Wii version. I don't know why. I got Phineas and Ferb, the quest for cool stuff. I got Legend of K Anniversary Edition for the Wii U, which is weird because, I mean, if you look at most Wii U games, they have blue on the sides, right? Most of them. Uh, this one has white, so it looks like a Wii game at first, but it is not. It is a Wii U game. I guess this was a anniversary of a PS2 game, and they just did it in 3D. Or not in 3D, in HD. And I heard it was really good, so I'm excited to try to play that. I already did a first time Fridays on this game, Genesis Sisters Director's Cut, which is super cool. Uh, 2D side-scrolling platforming game where you can change the world to solve puzzles and things, so that's cool. I got Ninja Gaiden 3, Razor's, Razor's Edge, redo of the Ninja Gaiden 3 game with more edge to it, I guess. I don't know. Another weird colored Wii U game. It's green. It's new Super Luigi U. So I wanted this one because I love Luigi. Luigi's my favorite Mario character because he's just so dumb. And I just feel like poor guy gets overshadowed by his brother. So I had to get the Luigi game because I love Luigi's Mansion too. I picked up recently Scribble Knots Unmasked. It looks like a DC comic game. I've never played a Scribblenauts game, and I have two of them. I've just never played them yet, so I'm excited to dive into these and try playing them. I also got Rayman Legends, which is super awesome. I've actually played this one. Weird, right? And it's just super, super, super fun. Like, the designs of the levels and everything is just awesome about these games. They need to make more of them. I heard there's one coming out for the Switch, I think. I think that's like a definitive version of this game. So that I'm excited to check out. I'm excited to check that out. Sorry, everything just fell. Probably hit the tripod, so there was a little earthquake. Another Scribblenauts game. Scribblenauts Unlimited. I guess this is the one before the DC one. Uh, like I said, haven't played these yet. They look really fun, so I'm going to start playing them soon. Tank, tank, tank. A tank, tank, tank. A tank, tank, tank. For the Wii U. <laughs> it's a fun game. I think this went free to play at one point, and then it just became harder and harder to find. Um, but I, I'm excited to play this because you could put your like face on the giant monster, and then your friends have to kill you in the game, which is super fun. It's a great idea. So I need to play that more. Need for Speed Most Wanted You. I heard this is the best version of this game. Don't know why. Um, I just heard it's really good, so I, I bought it because it was 10 bucks. I like racing games. I don't play them enough because I'm really bad at racing games, except Mario Kart. Um, but yeah, this looks fun. And the Wonderful 101, which is super cool. It kind of reminds me of Beautiful Joe, the style, kind of like Pikmin and Beautiful Joe meet together. The style in this game is awesome. Um, I'm very happy to have it. I really want to play it. I've always wanted this game, I just never got it until now. So it just looks really interesting and not, nothing like I've ever seen before. Even the color, cover art's really cool too. Bayonetta Games. So these are the, this is the first edition one, which Bayonetta 2. And it comes with Bayonetta 1. Hey, I just did two platinum games together. Look at that. Um, so yeah, this is the first edition one, which you know that because it has the first game in there with the second game. So there you go. This one's becoming harder and harder to find, so I had to get it now before it really goes up in price, before people really want it. Because this is the only way to play Bayonetta 2 on the Wii U, which is nuts, but I'm happy to have it. Here's a game called Funky Barn. I heard it's becoming really rare, so I bought it at GameStop for... $17. Sometimes you gotta like GameStop, you know, they have games that, you know, very underpriced. I found the, I found this game on Amazon for like $50. $50! This dumb looking game, $50 on Amazon, and I got it for $17. So I'm very, very happy to get that deal. I also got the SteamWorld collection for really cheap. 
because it looks cool. I've, I've heard great things about these games and I've just never had a chance to play them. So I think I did play maybe one of them for a little bit. I'm not sure if I did or not though, but I'm happy to have them for my Wii U collection. Yay! Uh, Zombie U, I've actually owned before, loved it. Didn't have a chance to like play it a lot, but, and it was really creepy. Like really creepy and it's just tense all the time i felt tense every time i played this game so i'm excited to have it back in my collection uh the multiplayer was really fun too like you could play you create zombie hordes and like the opponent has to like kill them and you control where you put them so that was really cool and last but very not least is devil's third a game that was really hard to find for me i had to go to it it was actually at a game so it wasn't that hard to find but a game that I feel like is going to become extremely hard to find coming in the future. So, I'm happy to have this one. I'm happy to end the video on this one, too, because Devil's Third is such a cool-looking game. I can't wait to play this. I'm going to play this later today, or tomorrow. I don't know yet. Um, yeah. So, maybe look on a video for that. I don't know. Do it. Or don't. Whatever. Um, yeah. Thanks for watching the new pickups video. I'm going to try to do one every two months or so, because... Uh, I feel like I'm not going to have time or money to spend on a lot of games to make a worthwhile video. Um, but I appreciate that you guys like the first one so much. That's why I'm doing this one right now. Because the first one is usually the pop most popular video on my channel. Except for the Obi-Wan video, which is weird. Um, so yeah, thank you guys so much for watching. Uh, it, let me know what kind of games you liked in the video. Or what games should I pick up next. Or what games have you guys picked up recently? Let me know in the comments below. Uh, like the video if you guys liked it. Uh, subscribe. Uh, thank you for watching and I hope you guys have a great day.